Wagwan Masir. I am Fziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, family, I have been longing to do this video, but I keep procrastinating, you know, just I put it off. But then something somewhat unfortunate happened, and I say, you know, no more delaying. We we'll have to get this video out of the way. So, yes, I will be talking today about our DIY oils. You know how to assess your oil to see if they're still good how long can you store your oils and you know the best the best method to prepare your diy oils because at the end of the day when we start using these things we're hoping to see growth and so we don't want anything that can derail that um plan or that objective or that goal so we're gonna just deal with that head on this morning and i hope that you know you will appreciate the value of this information that i'm bringing right because i'm gonna put in a little bit of experience in it now i have this oil as i said for a while left it on the table and it was so unfortunate that somebody went took it up and no semi do oils hair growth oils and just plaster it in them head and guys the flakes the fungus right so i take complete total responsibility for that now let's get into our oils and assessing our oils so there are four main methods to use when you're making your hair growth oils you can use the cold press method you can use the infused direct heat method the cold infusion method or you can boil as you see me do in a few of my videos like the castor oil and the moringa seed oil videos so my preferred methods for making my hair growth oils or even my skin oils is the cold pressed method the boiling or direct heat method however i basically use all the various processes it just depends on the time in which i need the oil and the purpose for which i need it now the real challenge comes in when we use the cold infusion or the double boiler method and that is just simply where we would we put the ingredients in the oil and we put the oil in some hot water or some boiling water and we allow it to steep now because some of us use fresh vegetable matter and some of the water content is still in the fresh matter it kind of creates a perfect breeding ground or the environment for fungus and bacteria and that is why some of us end up with dandruff and other types of fungus so now I'm gonna give you some tips to assist with um, you know preparing your DIY hair oils and I will also include how you can store your oil so the first thing you want to observe when you are making your oils is to ensure that the utensils are dry and properly sterilized you can sterilize with alcohol number two when you prepare your oils especially if you use fresh vegetable matter ensure that you filter as much of the sediments as possible within the first 24 hours after making your oil um, you can use coffee filter paper because sometimes you use the fabric and it you know, so it don't work out or you can use a muslin cloth whichever you feel comfortable or whatever you have at your disposal so dried materials actually decompose slower in the oils but still try and keep your oils free of any type of vegetable matter and these are just my suggestions right now for the infused oils this is my recommendation don't use them for more than two weeks if you if you have vegetable matter in them my advice in that regard is that you do small batches at a time so you know you you over time when you're making the oils you will know how much you will use over the two weeks and so just try and make small batches as much as possible so that you don't waste anything so in terms of storage ensure that you store your oils preferably in a dark container in a dry place from direct sunlight because over time family sunlight will reduce the efficacy of your oil and finally try to wash your hair weekly when you use oils on your scalp throughout the week you just want to remove all of that debris and gunk um, at least once per week so if you look carefully in this bottle especially along the sides you will see small clusters of fungi and if you use the oil while it is in this state it can cause dandruff it can cause hair loss and if you already have hair loss issues it could actually cause it to worsen 
and i guess that's why some of us complain that we're not seeing any results or the here or here situation is getting worse now i hope that this information was useful we've come to the end of the video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video